According to the Reverend Peter Gart, the Gay Manifesto was created to destroy heterosexual family and eventually the society. He's even suggested he's willing to fight the powerful gay lobby, even if it means losing his life. Mm. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. A very pleasant good morning. To Reverend you. Those are strong and fighting words. Well, I wouldn't describe them as fighting words, but words that I, I mean. And um, equally, I believe that we should respond to, to issues in this society. And this is a global issue. This is a serious issue facing the Caribbean and indeed Jamaica at this time. I accept that, but why did it come up like now? What brought up this now? I think there is a coalition that was formed for, for a healthy society. I'm not a member of the, of the society, but I do attend meetings from time to time. And this is one of the issues. And so I responded because it is something that I am concerned about. As you look at what is happening globally and the pressure being put on Jamaica, um, some of us might not be aware of it, but there are persons, countries that are pressuring Jamaica at this time. What's this for, gay manifesto? Isn't it a no, document from From 1987, 1987 something was written, um, often described as poetry and as fantasy. Take what is happening Jared Lane today. If you are going to write and you, you, you write and you say that this is fantasy but all Jamaicans should not support the police and the policemen should be shot on sight. The fact is you have said it. If you say before that this is some fantasy, I strongly oppose and Michael um, Swift has not withdrawn it. But who is Michael Swift in the, the grand he, scheme of things? He is the person behind who, 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 who wrote that. And but I'm isn't saying, that just one gay gentleman? Oh, no, How no, does no, that no, speak oh, no, oh, no. What you community? do, What you do now is you look at the development of what has happened since then. There, there is an agenda and the development of that. I think April 25th, um, 1993, the March on Washington says it all because you'll notice the, the 11 points that were raised there. Somehow, um, when you call for the lowering of the sexual consent, when you call, um, point number two speaks to um, pedophilia, and point number 11, I oppose it when you call for the removal of prayer in schools. Right. And the reason is that pastors are going to tell the children that marriage is between a man and a woman. Yeah, hang on a little bit. Um, I, I think one of the problems with religion is that there's confusion. So mm -hmm. one says worship on a Saturday, one says make the sign of the cross, one says don't do that. What about religion when it comes to this? Are all you guys on, on, on the same road with this, that this is wrong, this, this should be wrong? Uh, let me tell you, the, the, the fact is, for the most part, across the denominations, persons will um, disagree. When you say for the most part, uh, so there are churches who are no, saying that this is For instance, right. in Jamaica you'll find that, for instance, you, the, the, you, you know the big thing with the uh, um, Archbishop of Canterbury and the, the Jamaica, the Anglicans in Jamaica saying, no, we, we, we don't agree. Um, the Presbyterians, you don't notice. Don't agree it, with it, what? What is the fight the, the, against? The matter of um, ordaining gays and um, same-sex marriage. But that's not so, an issue. Let's localize the issue because yeah. that's a lobby elsewhere. No, no, no. Further no. advanced. We, I, but you I still don't didn't answer my question. Lobby. Lobby. I was I didn't still answer my question, though. Are all church leaders and all churches saying that um, homosexuality is wrong? Are yes. Everyone is saying that. Yes. Pretty much. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I would, I would say that. How you I tell you why. That. I tell you why. I tell you why. Because the umbrella groups, I mean, for the past two, three years, they have been meeting. We have not gone public. Maybe our fault. But there is a tremendous unity there, including the Adventists. And essentially, that makes up about 94 percent of okay, the churches so having in Jamaica. Said that, then and the leaders would, agree. Having said that, how do you <coughs> deal with a homosexual as a spiritual mm. person or a religious person? <coughs> I think my, the answer is clear. My, my theme captured it. Um, which, which, which is compassion without compromise. Okay, I'm still not clear on yes. what it is you're lobbying against. The gay oh, no. community in Jamaica wants the oh. Bogri law repealed. Y y y yes. Why do you care? 
Why do I care? Yes. Because I believe that the foundation of any nation is the family. If you destroy the family, you destroy the nation. And we believe in healthy, wholesome family life. But how do people <coughs> engaging in homosexual acts threaten heterosexual relationships? No, no, no. We're not saying that they are threatening heterosexual relationships. Mm -hmm. We are saying that globally, and including Jamaica, homosexuals do not keep their behavior. The myth is that a lot of persons are saying adults are free to do whatever they want behind the wall. Now, like Voltaire, Voltaire said it that we must fight to the death that a person is free to, to say and do what he or she wants to do. That is true. However, it depends on what the person is saying or doing. I do not believe that it is a right. I, I believe it is a choice. And, and, and so, based on that and based on what is happening with our children in Jamaica, I have a serious concern. Okay, I understand concern about your perspective, schools. which is a Christian perspective, yes. and I suppose most of Jamaica will sympathize with the perspective. My question is, not everything that we find morally reprehensible we ought to legislate against. Why do you think the church has the right to impose? If you are a member of the church and you don't subscribe to it, then don't engage in it. Why do you think the government should have the right to go into people's bedrooms and tell them what they ought to do there? That's a myth. The government What's a myth? to say that the government will go into your bedroom. No, that, that's not it because they could not. You are in my bedroom that, if you're telling me what I should be able to do in there. And the, the book no, law doesn't only affect I'm telling you that it, I'm, it telling you, I'm, I'm telling you that I disagree with what you do in there. I can't stop you from doing what you would like to do. In other words, I disagree with situation ethics. I disagree that if it is the loving thing to do, nothing is wrong. So you agree L that the Bogre law should be repealed? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm saying that I disagree that, for instance, you have a right to commit suicide. But if I find out that you are going to commit suicide, I can tell you this, I will do everything within my power to stop you. Right. But you, you have can, a right. You can use moral suasion. The Absolutely. question is, should it be the subject of legislation? Should the state say, listen, you can say, look, I don't approve of this behavior and I'm going to use my platform, which is a church pulpit, to okay. argue against it and to encourage my membership not to engage in yes. it. That's perfectly fine. Yes. Why do you now feel that the state should impose this on people? To me, it is going into somebody's bedroom and telling them what they can engage in for pleasure or not. It, it goes a little I bit. Don't, I don't yes. support smoking, for instance. Yes. Yes. I wouldn't dare go and lobby parliament to pass a law against it. It's your right if you want to light up and affect your lungs. Y yes, but they have done something, and that's a mistake in history. Um, the Surgeon General in the States came out and um, said, listen, put the writing on the box. It is proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that smoking, well, whatever you smoke, induces lung cancer because of technology. We now see it as a fact. So what they have done is that yes, they have legislated and nothing is wrong because they say, don't smoke it on an aeroplane. I have because a, I have a friend who died data. and when you looked at his lungs, the doctors said it was impossible that this man was a non-smoker. But you know where it took place? He was a missionary and he had to go into the only seat available sometimes was the seat in the smoking area. If you saw his lungs, should the church it, be involved in, it, in governance it, in the first place? Let me tell you, hold on a minute. Um, the church must respond. My problem is that the, the gay lobby, um, they must be permitted to, 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 to say what they want to say. But I must be given the right to respond. And in a direct way to your question, once you touch the law, history tells us what will happen. What will happen if you touch them? that law, what you do, is that you open curriculum. Meaning what? Meaning that you send your children to school and they are going to be told that it is okay for a man to marry a man and it is okay for a woman to marry a woman. I'm saying, from my perspective... And what, what is that going to do? Is that going no, no, to... No, 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 no. I'm saying that we disagree with that. You, you know the position of, of the church. You know, you, and my position is abundantly clear concerning the scriptures. I believe that in life... There are some things that are right, and there are some things that are wrong. I, and government all over, you know, governments all over the world, they increase the cost, the money, and we don't have that kind of money. Look at what is happening in France. 
arguably, and the Lancet um, journal, arguably the best medical journal, indicated 2006, 2007, that they have the best medical care system in the world. And they legalized it from 1791. And today, look at what they said in 2011. It has gotten worse. Right. The church eschews premarital sex. Mm -hmm. And we have credible data that show yes. that we have a problem in Jamaica with out of wedlock. Um, a lot of children are being born oh, out of that's, wedlock. That's true. Isn't this a more important issue for the church to be taking up than the homosexual oh, again, issue? Again, one of the issues is that people come out and say that we are hitting um, homosexuality and homosexuals. Not true. We are cutting across the board. If you read um, my statement at the press conference, not the Observer, you will see how we have made that appeal concerning children. Um, how do children uh, come into the homosexual debate? Oh yes, because I'm saying that if the if if if, if, if the gay lobby are asking that we lower the age of consent, because there there is there is an agenda behind that. Before we go, what's the bigger issue? Children being born out of wedlock and the social oh, no, side, I don't, the social no, no, issues I that come with I that. Do not I'm just asking from the yeah, perspective yeah, of yeah. the church because there's a passion yeah. against um, the gay lobby that I don't see for other social ills, which I well, think are far worse. I am, I'm, well, I am not getting into the worst issue um, situation. The what gay I, issue is what, God's no, issue no, no, for no, this no, 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 no. All of those issues were addressed. I'm saying that's right. a problem with media. We have to go. You speak and they jump and make it look as if you are talking about that when we are hitting on all of those things. And I'm glad that she said I, because I tell you sometimes I'm a little annoyed that whole pastors constantly hit and you begin to wonder, you know, the matter of sex outside of marriage will come. If you're talking of whatever subject, you hit on that. You must, it, is, it is across the board. All right. Thanks a lot for coming yes. in, sir. Reverend Peter Garth president of the Association of Gospel Assemblies. After the break.